What happened to the electric car on the display of the new EV maker TOG at the biggest consumer show in Las Vegas? There was one there last year, they even have one in production now. So where was it and what was occupying their display this year? Let the search begin and we're gonna start right now. Welcome to E4 Electric. As you probably know, I was at the world's biggest tech convention, CES, in Las Vegas a couple of weeks ago, covering EV unveilings and news, hosting a live stream with Kim Java, and making automaker CEOs shake hands with me without having any clue what I actually think of their, um, whatever that is there was a huge area of the convention dedicated to the automotive industry and pretty much every car maker had at least one car front and center the new turkish electric vehicle maker tog was no exception last year look at that beauty but when i walked up to their booth this year i wasn't sure if i got the wrong address or tog was a victim of an overnight heist where was the car? If you've never heard of TOG, they are a brand new automaker from Turkey. That's how we're supposed to pronounce the name of the country, formerly known as Turkey. They are heading into production with their very first EV, the CSUV, with deliveries targeted for March. Since I have visited them in Istanbul about a year ago, they have come a long way. The new factory built, Car in production started, charging network announced app with digital ecosystem launched. And they're actually having a lot of fun with it. For example, TOG has just announced that the reservation order in which customers will get their cars will be gamified. Now, last year, their booth at the CES was pretty cool as well. As a matter of fact, it was named the top 10 display by the Exhibitor magazine out of over 2,000 of participants. But this year, they wanted to make an even bigger statement. And I have to say that this was the most fun and interactive booth I have seen at CES this year. And I spent the entire week walking the exhibition halls back and forth but still no signs of the car. Their booth has consistently had a long line all the way until the last day on Sunday to experience their AI tech. More on that later. Okay, so the concept of the display is the notion that TOG doesn't want us to think of their EV as a car. They want us to think of it as a smart device creating a personalized experience with smart living solutions for every user. As a matter of fact, you can use their mobile app even if you don't drive their car or even if you don't have a car at all. So they have built what they called a digital garden in the middle of the West Hall of the Las Vegas Convention Center with, get this, its own water irrigation system to power each pillar of the garden, something that ironically the city of Las Vegas is struggling to do for the last several years. One of many ways how TOG was showcasing their ability to personalize your EV ownership experience was by creating your digital twin. Mine was a bit hairier than I am, but uh, I've heard he's got his own YouTube channel. Yeah, it's called E4 extensive hair growth. So we had a bit of a dance off and my twin was indeed able to keep up with me, but then I ran out of breath and had to take a seat. Now, the most popular part of the digital garden was the Beyond X experience, which had a half an hour line to it for all five days of the show. Once you enter the tunnel of the future, you end up in a driver's seat, which really looked more like my Airbnb couch with a joystick in the middle of it. So I picked the city and the music to virtually drive through and normally this wouldn't be anything special. However, this wasn't just any city or any music. This was the city created just for me in that moment by TOG's AI algorithm and even more impressive, so was the music, which was no worse than what I hear on the radio nowadays.
Another useful pillar, which was pretty popular, was the digital tree beaming the energy down into the convenient phone charging stations. This pillar was to showcase that TOG sees the future of technology as more of an emotional experience rather than a soulless interaction with a robot, which is good news for all of the therapists including mine. And lastly, the smart living solution pillar had a few stalls which you could lock yourself into and experience your personal and virtual AI-based digital assistant. I may need one, you know, to remind myself to buy more pink shirts. And by the way, after all this, I was still not able to find the car. I even looked between the cushions. But luckily, I ran into someone who for sure would know the answer, TOG's CEO, Gurjan Karakash. Alex, I mean, the entire story is not only about the car, and uh, and by the way, we are also not naming it a car, so if we need something, it's, it must be a smart device, and that smart device is part of an entire mobility ecosystem. And what we have this year here in, in our booth is a digital experience. Because if you look to the entire transformation in the industry, uh, we are moving more and more to consumer-like, consumer electronics-like behavior and products and product sets. And this gives us or brings us to more digital experience. And today we have here digital experience. The, the physical and the digital world putting together and waking up and shaking your senses. And on the other side also, uh, offering you personalized services, these are the things the users, our potential users are asking from us. And this is what we do showcase here today. So the car was never there for me to find. But as I recently revealed to my audience, I did find it somewhere else about a year ago. I found it in Turkey. In case if you missed that video, I did get to drive the TOG CSUV prototype when I was in Turkey about a year ago, and I had a lot of fun. The first customers will be able to drive their own production cars starting March as TOG is ready to start the real world production. So now you know what I do when I walk around at these shows, and I absolutely will be back next year for CES 2024 because who can refuse a free trip to Vegas? All right, looking forward to all of your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.